Hey guys! Sorry about that. Just getting it fixed. Okay, so we're going to talk about compound inequalities again. So remember, we have two different kinds of compounds. We have or that always go out, and we have ands that always go together, shaded in the middle. So or is shaded out, and and is shaded in the middle. Okay, and ors always say or. Okay, think about your cute little boat and the oars are on the outside. Okay, so we're going to do a few problems together. Um, these are just like inequality problems we've done before. There's just a few more steps and then we shade. Okay, so we put the inequality underneath, which is kind of annoying. Um, so just kind of work around it. So my first step I have two items on this side and two items on this side, so I want to get one of them away. So I'm just going to pick that 3. I'm going to subtract 3 from each side. So now I have 10n is greater than or equal to 4n minus 12. And then since I have my n over here, I need to move this n to be with n. So the opposite of positive n is negative. So I'm going to subtract by 4n on each side. 10 minus 4 is 6n is greater than or equal to negative 12. Then I have to get the variable by itself, so we're going to divide each side by 6, and then I have n is greater than or equal to negative 2. Notice I didn't flip the symbol because I didn't divide each side by a negative. Okay, and that's a closed dot at negative 2. And then I'm going to do this problem. Again, I like to just move my numbers first. So I'm going to add 1, add 1, so now I have 6n is less than... 1 minus 4 is negative 3 plus 5n. Well, I have the n over here and an n over here, so I need to move this guy to be over there. The opposite of positive 5n is minus, so I'm going to subtract by 5n on each side. 6 minus 5 gives me 1n is less than negative 3. Well, that's nice. Okay, so then I have to put my dot on negative 3. It's an open dot, and it's an or, so that means that I'm going to shade out. So don't shade the same direction, either opposite or together. Okay, then we write our interval notation. To the left forever and ever and ever means negative infinity. Always have parentheses. Then our first important number is negative 3. It's open, so it gets a parenthesis. Then, since it's an or, we put a u in between. Our next important number is a negative 2. Since it's a closed dot, it has a bracket. To the right forever and ever means positive infinity. So... There we are. That one. It's a lot of steps because you're doing two problems in one, um, but you don't have too many of these to do. Let's do another one. Oh, let's do number six. <clears throat> number six is an and, and I know it's an and because they're sharing the middle. So this middle needs to go to this side and to this side, okay? So it shares. So I'm going to rewrite. That's what you should do first, is split. So we have 4x minus 10 is less than 10x minus 8. So go from the beginning to the, through the first symbol and then stop at the next one. So there. So this is one inequality. Okay, then we're going to write the second inequality. So we're going to go the opposite direction through the first inequality and stop here. So that's the second inequality. So we have 10x plus 8 is less than 4 plus 6x. Okay, and then we solve. So this time I want to move my 4x together first, because, I don't know, let's mix it up. The opposite of positive 4 is minus 4. I can only take x's from x's, so I'm going to do that to my 10. Now I have negative 10 is less than 6x plus 8. I have a number, a variable, and a number, so I want my numbers to get together. So that's why I'm going to pick this to move over to my 10. The opposite of positive 8 is minus 8. What I do to one side, I must do to the other. Negative 10 minus 8 is negative 18. It's less than 6x. And then I need to get my variable by itself. The opposite of multiply is divide. You do to one side, you do to the other. Negative 18 divided by 6 is negative 3. Keep your symbol because our 6s were both positive. And then since it doesn't have a line, it gets an open dot at negative 3. So 0, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3. Be careful where you put your dot. Make sure you count. Okay, then, sorry, I'm going to adjust for you. This is so crooked. Okay, like that. Okay, 
So then this guy we're going to solve the same way. We are going to minus 10x on each side to start. Oh, oh no, sorry, my cat. Okay, that makes zero. And then I bring down my eight is less than four minus four X. So I have a number, a number, and a variable. I need to get my variables, or my numbers together. So the opposite of positive four is minus four. What we do to one side, we do to the other. Eight minus four is four is less than negative four X. To get that X by itself, we're gonna do the opposite of multiply. We divide each side by negative four. When you divide by a negative 4 here, we got to flip this symbol. And I ran out of room, so I'm going to put it here. 4 divided by negative 4 is negative 1. Since it's uh, got no line, it's an open dot at negative 1. So 0, negative 1. And since this is an and, it gets shaded in the middle. So my integral notation, my first important number is this guy over here, a negative 3. It's an open dot, so a parenthesis. And then I go to negative 1. It's an open dot, so a parenthesis. There's your interval notation. Um, let's do an or. We'll do number nine. I'm just picking random ones. If they're on your quiz today, that's fantastic. <laughs> I did them for you. Oh, no. Oh, heavens. Okay. Stay. All right. Here we go. Um, so I'm going to minus 10, minus 10. So I've got 3k is less than or equal to. Remember, you can only take whole numbers away from whole numbers. So negative 10 plus 4 is negative 6. And if you ever get confused or you want to double check your work, which is what I recommend, then you have negative 10 plus 4 is negative 6. Okay? So then I need to bring down my 5k. And then I'm going to keep going. I got a k on this side and a k on this side, so I need to get them both on the same side. So I'm going to subtract by 5k on each side. 3 minus 5 is negative 2k, um, negative 6. And then I need to get the k by itself, so we're going to divide each side by negative 2. Um, when you do this, they cancel out, leaving just k. But since I divided each side by a negative, I need to flip my symbol. Negative 6 divided by negative 2 is 3. And that's a line, so a closed dot. Okay, um, this guy, I'm going to start by, oh, here, we'll do the opposite. We'll just keep it even. So I'm going to do the opposite of minus 9k, which is plus 9k, and then plus 9k. So now I have 9 is greater than 9k plus, or 9k minus 2k is 9, 8, 7. So I'm missing that occur. Okay, 7k, oh, no, it's positive, plus 2. Then we need to get to the k by itself, so my 9 and my 2 match, which means that I need to move my 2 over to be with my 9. The opposite of positive is negative. 9 minus 2, 9, 8, 7. Oh yeah, I just did it there. Silly. I keep thinking it's 5 for some reason. Okay, and then I have to get the variable by itself, so we're going to divide each side by 7. Since I divided each side by positive 7, my symbol stays. 7 divided by 7 is 1. So I have an open dot at 1. And since I have an or, it's going to go out. We're going to test just to make sure, because we haven't tested yet. So um, 0 is smaller than 1, so I'm going to test it. Is 1 bigger than 0? Yepers. So that's good. And then here, let's test it using 10. Is 10 greater than or equal to 3? Yep. Okay, and then we write our interval notation. To the left forever means negative infinity. Our important number is 1. They each have parentheses, union, then I have my 3, which filled in, so bracket, infinity, because it's pointing to the right forever. So this is my interval notation. Okay, there's some examples for you. If you have any more questions, please let your teacher know. Bye, guys. Have a great day.